Hi, my name is Art, and welcome to another Bumpai video. And today's video is the 86 trivia video about the dial switches on the dashboard. If you are unfamiliar with the A86, it actually has two dial switches mounted prominently on both sides of the dashboard. These switches either control the windshield wipers or the headlights, and they have to be turned to switch them on and off. The windshield wiper switch is located on the left and the headlight switch is located on the right of right-hand drive cars. These switches are then mirrored on the left-hand drive cars because their entire dashboard is now mirrored because of people sit on the other side of the car. Even though the A86 models, the Levin and the Trano, share the same dashboard, they do differ between the two models. The Trano features pop-up headlights and naturally the switch also has to feature pop-up function for replacing, for instance, broken bulbs. So the first notch on the switch enables the parking lights, that's the same between the Levin and the Trano. The second notch will enable the headlights, this is also the same between the Levin and the Trano. But the pop-up headlights will flip up on the Trano in the second notch. The third notch will actually disable the headlights again, but keep the pop-up headlights in an open position. And this third notch is only available on the Trano. Also, these small icons on the switch or next to the switch are also different due to this fact. The wiper switch is shared between the two models and there's no real difference between them. The switch itself is very basic, a first notch is interval wipers, second notch is slow operation, third notch is fast operation of these wipers. However, there is a difference between the various trim levels. There were illumination and wiper interval dials available on some of the various trim levels of the Trano and the Levin. These two dials are located on the outside of both switches and they can be turned to increase or decrease the illumination or the interval of the wipers. First of all, the illumination dial, also known as the rheostat, it will increase or decrease the gauge cluster illumination. So if you twist this to the left or the right, it will either increase the illumination, it, and your cluster basically becomes brighter, or decrease the illumination and your gauge cluster becomes dimmer. And this is especially if you're driving in a very dark mountain road in, uh, during the night, you want to uh, decrease the illumination, obviously. And if you're driving on the highway with a lot of lights around you, you want to increase illumination. So it makes sense. The wiper interval dial will do exactly what it says. It will increase or decrease the wiper interval. And of course, if you switch your wiper switch to the interval setting, you can increase or decrease the time between every wipe of the interval wipers. In Japan, these two dials were only available on the Trano GT Apex SE and Lisse models, or Lisse models as we would call it in the Netherlands. We have a town called Lisse. Um, and for the 11, the GT Apex, the GTV, and the GT models. Also in Europe and the US, only the illumination dial was featured on all models, but the wiper interval dial was absent from all these cars, which was strange. Why would you do that? Naturally, the internals of these switches are also different from each other. You can use the Trano switch on the 11, but the third notch won't do much except dim the headlights. The other way around would actually eliminate the possibility to swap your light bulbs as the third notch isn't there anymore. Also, the switches not featuring the interval dials start working all of a sudden if you swap them for switches of those. That's it, thank you for watching. I hope everything in this video was very clear. If it wasn't, just leave some comments below or just ask questions. I'll try to answer them. And also new videos are coming up soon and keep your eyes open on your subscription list. Thank you for watching and see you next time.